Hello, and welcome to the HTML5 online training series. My name is Caesar, and I'm your IT trainer with the ITS training program here at Cal State LA. First off, this training series will not only cover HTML5, but will also cover CSS3. Both HTML5 and CSS3 are not new technologies. Instead, they are redesigns of their predecessors that will ultimately help to optimize the web. HTML and CSS are two completely different languages that are meant to work together. Recently, they have become increasingly popular, beneficial, and practical as the way people access the internet has changed. So, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to place content onto a web page. HTML5 adds features that increases code readability and reduces the need for external plugins, such as Flash. What about CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Its only purpose is to style content. This includes positioning, color, and sizing. CSS3 helps save bandwidth, reduce load times, and includes new effects and animations. Here's what we'll cover in HTML5 Part 1. An introduction to some HTML and CSS syntax. Then, we'll take a look at how the two work together and how you can go about constructing a web page from it. We'll end the lesson with adding some text to our page. Take note that in this HTML5 video tutorial, we will be using the free text editor, Notepad++. Any other text editor will also work, but Notepad++ is highly recommended for its useful features, including syntax highlighting and auto indentation. To download Notepad++, go to http colon slash slash www.notepad-plus-plus.org slash download. Next, we will need a browser that fully supports HTML5. We will be using the latest version of Mozilla Firefox. To download Mozilla Firefox, go to http colon slash slash www.mozilla.org slash download. And click the Firefox for desktop link. 